The purpose of this video is to demonstrate that um, wind turbines don't really kill as many birds as people claim. I think it's uh, a proven fact that more birds are killed by domestic cats, cars, buses, trucks, trains and aeroplanes. So let's have a look at the bottom of this Vestas wind turbine that's at the Coalclough site in Burnley. I think that might demonstrate the, uh, the value of the claims made by NIMBYs about dead birds underneath wind turbines and I'm right underneath this one. But still, carry on having a look. I see no dead birds. Let's go to another one. Well, well the cattle and sheep are there and they don't seem to be too worried. All of this moorland that you see, which people claim to be beautiful, undisturbed and original, is actually managed like that for shooting. If nature had its way it wouldn't look anything like that. And if man hadn't chopped down the wood to burn in the first place over a thousand years ago, it would be different again. So. These silly claims about it being unspoilt are unfounded. In fact, if anything, these sort of landscapes should be full of wind turbines because that's all it's any good for. Instead of being preserved for entirely the use of shooting, it could actually be put to some good use. So let's have a look at turbine number 13. 
unlucky for some birds or lucky for some birds. <laughs> that was slippery and I was being careful on that. <laughs> I suppose you could have argued that if I'd slipped and broken my leg or my arm the wind turbine farm was the cause of that. So we're uh, directly underneath number 13. And listen, listen, just listen to that. Now I'm not raising my voice and that's not noisy. It's actually very, very quiet that. Right. It's just a gentle whistle that needs a bit of a grease somewhere. Unless it's just the tip of that blade. Really. Yeah, that's interesting. So back to dead birds and bats. Well, I don't think this is an ideal bat habitat because there aren't any uh, bushes or trees or buildings for them to to go into but it is ideal for raptors and I've seen claims that various eagles and other birds of prey have been butchered by wind turbines and I can't see any around here I can see more proof of the claims and what they are and what uh, what that symbolizes. That is very quiet is that, I mean I'm stood right next to it. And that's very very quiet. You could easily have a conversation almost at a whisper at the base of this turbine. So there we go, um, no proof of any dead birds anywhere, or dead bats, or anything else. <laughs>